taken trouble to my house in the likeness of your face. Oh, your face you charged too willingly. I think this is your daughter? Oh, her mother hath many times told me so. Were you in doubt, sir, that you asked her? Signor Benedict, no, for then you were but a child. You have it full, Benedict. Be happy, lady, for you're like an honorable father. If Signor Leonato be your father, she would not have his head on her shoulders for all Messina as like him as she is. I wonder that you'll still be talking, Signor Benedict. Nobody marks you. What? My dear lady Disdain, are you yet living? Is it possible Disdain should die while she has such meat food to feed it as Signor Benedict? Her courtesy is not this convert to Disdain when you come in her presence. Then it's courtesy a turncoat. But it is certain I am loved of all women, only you excepted. And I would I could find it in my heart that I'm not a hard heart, for truly I love none. A dear happiness to women. They would also have been troubled with a pernicious suitor. I thank God in my cold blood. I love your humor for that. I'd rather hear my dog bark at a crow than a man swear he loves me. God keep your ladyship still in that mind, so that some gentleman or other may escape your predestinate scratched face. Scratching could not make it worse, and were such a face as yours were. Well, <laughs> a bird of my tongue is better than a beast of yours. I would my horse had the speed of your tongue, and so good a continuer. But keep your way in God's name. I have done. You always end with a jade's trick. I know you of old. That is the sum of all, Leonardo. Be good Signor Claudio and Signor Benedict. I tell him we shall stay at least a month, and he hardly prays some occasion may detain us longer. I dare swear he's no hypocrite, but pluck praise from his heart. If you swear, my lord, you shall not be forsworn. Let me bid you welcome, my lord. Being reconciled to the prince, your brother, I owe you all duty. I thank you. I'm not of many words, but I thank you. Please it you lead on, your grace. Your hand, Leonardo. We will go in together. Benedict, didst thou note the daughter of Signor Leonardo? I noted her not, but I looked on her. Is she not a modest young lady? Do you question me as an honest man should for my simple, true judgment? Or would you have me speak after my custom as the professed tyrant of their sex? No, I pray thee speak in sober judgment. Why, methinks she is too little for a high praise, too brown for a fair praise, too small for a great praise. Only this combination can I afford her, that were she other than she is, she were unhandsome. But being no other but as she is, I do not like her. Thou thinkest I am in sport. I pray thee, tell me truly how thou likest her. Would you buy her that you inquire after her? Can the world buy such a jewel? Yea, and a case to put it into. <laughs> but speak of this with a sad brow. Come, in what key shall a man take you? In mine eye, she is the sweetest lady that ever I looked upon. I see yet without spectacles, and I see no such matter. <laughs> That's her cousin, and were she not possessed with a fury, exceeds her much in beauty as the first of May doth the last of December. But oh, you have no intention to turn husband, have you? I could scarce trust myself, though I had sworn the contrary, that here would be my wife. Is it come to this? Hath the world not one man be aware of cap with suspicion? Shall I never see a bachelor of three score again? Go to it, faith, and wilt thou needs thrust thy neck into the yoke? Wear the print of it, sigh away Sundays. Oh, John Pedro's return to seek you.